Welcome back, Casey Campbell with Great Lakes Post with you. And we are pleased to be joined by, oh geez, we're on the uh, we're on the first time winners. Uh, we just we, with uh, we just talked to the Xfinity winner, Brandon Brown. Now we're talking with the first time winner in the main Arca Menard series. Yes, he has plenty of wins in the Arca West series. But Jesse Love is joining us, the driver of the number 15 Toyota for Venturini Motorsports. Um, if you haven't heard, Jesse got his first win this weekend at Salem Speedway. Hi, Jesse. How's it going, man? It's going. So uh, we were just kind of talking about this, but uh, I, I knew you. I know you always think whenever you go to the racetrack, you always know that you you got a shot to win. You know you, you expect to win. But what was it like to get that big win at Salem, especially you know getting around one of the best out there in Ty? Man, it was huge uh, for my trajectory and my path to get to Cup one day, like. I need to make sure I can win everything that I'm running um, to make sure that uh, Jack Irving, Trent, Bond, Tyler, um, everybody at Toyota Racing Development uh, believes in, in what I'm doing and trusts me to make the next step and win. So um, it was huge for me uh, to get that win, to really write my season off as, as a success. Um, I've won the Super Late already this year, and I've won, obviously, a good amount of Arkham Monard Series West races, but I've being close to Venerini, I run the highest second um, at Elko, but I knew I needed to get a win in that. Um, I think, especially for me, um, but also other people to, like I said, write my season off as a success. So um, it was huge for me. You know, like I said, sorry, like I said, like it's, you know, important to go to the racetrack knowing you have a shot to win. But this weekend, I was going to the racetrack to win. Uh, that was, even on during the, during the race, Billy was like, you know, good job, man. Like, how you doing or how's it going in there? Right. And I was like, good. Just want to get to the front. You know what I mean? And I was running second. Um, so my mindset was always on, on getting the lead and getting around tie um, and damn near making them work for it. That's that I knew I, was, I knew I could do it. Um, we need to make our car a little bit better in the last pit stop. And we did, we made some, some slight changes, um, but that was all we needed to get around them on the restart and, and hold them off as the run went on. So um it was big for me. It was big for my team, big for Kevin Reed, my crew chief, to get one this year. And it uh, gives me a lot of confidence and, and good amount of pep in my step for the rest of the year and for the next, for the following year. It uh, gives me confidence just, just to know I can do it. So, um, you know, it was it was great. And I'm so happy. I'm so blessed by God and, and Mobile One, Toyota Race Development, everybody at Ben Reedy. Uh, it's put me in a spot to win. And, um, and we made the most of it. And uh, I'm really happy we did it. I think you got ever. I think you got all your bases covered there. Um, going out and getting it done, um, you know, at Salem and the short tracks. Of course, that was your last run with Venturini this year. Overall, how do you think you've done this year in that in with that program? I'll be honest with you right now. I don't. My season with Venturini was not a success up until Salem, um, and I'm still. I am very happy with with getting the win, but I'm still not 100 percent sure that I'm. I'm very happy with how my year went for them. Uh, and I think, you know, I'll admit when, I, when I need to be better. And I think that for a big part of the year, I was like, okay, let's go to this track and let's get experience. Let's get ready for next year. And I felt like this whole year I was like focusing on um, developing myself. Right. But this week, and I was like, I'm still going to do that. I'm still going to take the things I should have done better. And I'm going to work on that. Um, and I'm going to implement everything I've learned over the year to, to be better for this race. However, I need to go into this race, to win the race. I need to go there. The mindset that all I'm going to do there is win. Um, and that helped me out a lot. So um, obviously I probably should have done that earlier in the year to, to get more wins. Um, but we did run well in a lot of races um, and we struggled at a little bit, at a, at a few of them. So um, I learned a ton this year in the big track stuff. I learned a ton this year on, on how to be a better leader, how to be a better uh, team player and, I think it all came together at Salem. So, and I think the reason it all came together at Salem was I did take everything I learned throughout the year, but I went to the track to win the race. So um, it was a little bit of a mindset change for me, um, but now I know I can damn do it. So it uh, makes me really happy. And like you said, outrun Ty, who's, who's one of the best in, in a lot of the things that he runs right now um, means a lot. So uh, he was, he was graceful as well. Like he talked to me after the race and, and you know, first and many man and, and we had a good conversation. So me and him have always run clean. Um, we don't put bumpers to each other. We race hard, but we race clean and respectfully. So um, really happy uh, to uh, race hard with him and uh, share that. Yeah. 
So now you take you put your focus on for the rest of the year for the Arca West stuff. I know you got some other of uh, the many other things that you do. Um, but in the in terms of that, of course, you got Roseville this weekend or All-American this weekend and then finishing out the year at Phoenix for that. I, I know you're after your, you know, this your second straight West championship. But how exciting is it to go back and uh, go back to Roseville this weekend? I love it, man. I like Roseville a lot. It's uh, definitely a driver's racetrack. I think it's technical in one and two and then three and four um, is just as technical in areas when you really dissect the corner. So um, I've always been pretty fast there. Um, had a pretty good run going in the super late. Uh, my first time there it was like my second super late race and uh, the ARCA race last year. Um, I mean, we were pretty good in practice. We were really fast, um, but we weren't as fast as we wanted to be. And we, come to realize uh, the motor problem that we had at Vegas, the race before translated, and we had the same issue um, that weekend. So uh, we didn't notice it until we looked, we were behind a car and I had catching like three car in the car and he pulled me like a, you know, four car on exit on, on the straightaway more or less. So um, it was just a weird deal. Uh, we figured out what it was just some, some fuel pickup issues and, and getting enough fuel and air to the motor. Um, but we didn't get it figured out at the racetrack. Uh, and then we had a spark plug, spark plug wire fall off during the race. So I was running about, you know, probably six and a half or five and a half cylinders uh, for most of the race. So it was definitely a shame um, to have that happen. I mean, I was running third gear for most of the race, just chipping at the flag things. I was the only way I could keep up. So, um, but our car handled really well. Um, and we worked on our package, uh, for tracks like that a lot over the last year to make it a lot better. So, I mean, I, we really should just be able to dominate the weekend and uh, come out of there and get our points back. We were at Vegas last few weeks ago and um, leading that race, out running an East Coast car and, and felt really good and um, had a really great run going. And uh, we had uh, right front tire, uh, had a puncture from probably just some debris fiberglass or something from all the wrecking that was going on and um, cut a right front tire down so uh, we lost a lot of our points that weekend so we're only seven ahead now but uh, we definitely have the dominant car and, I, and I have my confidence is really high right now so um, no reason we shouldn't go there and and, and dominate the weekend uh, love that racetrack really happy with our package Bill back now he's brought me great race cars the team has done a great job of building a reliable race car uh, with Napa on the hood and uh, my crew chief Travis has been on kill, uh, just give me I mean, amazing race cars the last few races. He's been a great driver. Yeah, for sure. Um, you kind of you kind of mentioned this, but you talked about next year a little bit. Um, I know you're not 18 yet, but what is your plan for next year? Do you has that been solidified yet? Um, it has, in a sense. Um, you know, uh, my trajectory at the beginning of the year was. Um, you know, pretty much set, you know, early, but, uh, you know, I can't announce it yet, uh, just for sponsorship and, and, and development reasons, but, um, you know, definitely gonna be running a lot more ARCA races. I can say that, uh, hopefully be running some more super late stuff as well. So, um, I'm so not, you know, rushing the truck move. Once you make your first truck start, the clock kind of starts. So, um, I'm just kind of going along with it and, uh, developing myself and, and I want to go be able to dominate in the ARCA series before I, um, you know, start thinking about making that next step. I still have a long time, so I'm only 16. So I'm really happy with how everything's going. Absolutely. Um, yeah, for sure. All right, Jesse Love, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us. Talk this weekend at Roseville, and we'll maybe talk to you later on in the year. Awesome. Thank you, buddy.